This is Ken Rockwell with KenRockwell.com at KenRockwell.tv. Let's take a look at the Sinal SCM660 that I just got from B&H, and let's open her up. Let's take a look here. We've got this is all wrapped up nice and neat. And lo and behold, I think the guys at B&H did that for me because inside it's wrapped up in plastic. Let's take a look at this little guy. This is a Sonal SCM660 Professional Large Diaphragm Condenser Microphone. It has a 1.3 inch gold sputtered diaphragm. It actually has two of them, so it has selectable patterns, Omni, Figure 8, and Cardioid. It says Professional Large Diaphragm Condenser made by Sonal. It's made in China. It comes in a tough roadie case. That's roadie as an R-O-A-D-I-E. Throw your guitars, run a bus over it, it's going to take it. Okay, let's cut this little guy open and see what we can see. Ah, look at these beautiful graphics. Wow. Okay, pictures of the microphone, the specs, which are basically a direct copy of the Neumann U87. It's got a 10 dB capacitive pad, an 80 hertz high pass, <laughs> low stop filter, and it's got three polar patterns, cardioid, figure eight, and omni, and there's your in full color, frequency response graphs. Let's take off the pretty graphics. Let's see what's inside this beautiful box. Whoa, this is nice. This is all foam. We have a little sock to protect our microphone when we just have the microphone out. We have our instructions, which uh, we can find online, which doesn't tell us much other than the fact is you talk into the side of this, less like a Neumann U87. It's not like an amateur microphone that you talk into the front. Whoa, what a beauty. Look at this. Okay, can you see this on camera? Yes, that is gold. And it's gold on both sides. And if we, Can we look in the top? Can we get a look at that? Yeah, look at that. That looks nice all by itself. These switches, ah, I kind of prefer these to the Neumann U87, which are plastic. This is a metal toggle switch for flat or the 80 hertz roll off. You use the 80 hertz roll off, not so much outdoors in the wind. You shouldn't be shooting this thing outdoors in the wind, although you can get a windscreen for it. That's for if you have your talent really close, it reduces the proximity effect in the cardioid pattern. So you get effectively a flatter response or you get boosted bass when you put it there. This is a capacitive 10 dB pad, which increases the maximum sound pressure level the microphone can handle without distorting. It actually attenuates the signal before it hits the electronics. Here's your three polar patterns. There's figure eight, there's cardioid, there's omni. There's your mount for the shock mount. Here's your model number. Some more certifications. There's your bottom. That's probably your serial number on the side there. The shock mount. Ah, oh, what a beautiful thing. It's worth the price of admission. I think this sells for about $199 last I checked from our friends at B&H where I got mine. This is nice. This might even be metal on the bottom. I like that. It's even got some spare rubber bands. These aren't rubber bands, actually. These are elastic bands and they're covered with cloth. And if you break one, you're all set. Put that down. Put this in here like this. Ah, see how this is working? You screw that into the bottom of the microphone. There we go. Now I've got a shock mount, so you can mount that on a tripod, or actually you can. You've got a 3 8 inch thread and the standard mic thread in there. If all you're going to ever do is use the cardioid pattern, you can buy the SCM600 microphone for only $150, which is exactly the same thing, except it only does cardioid. This is an entirely analog microphone for professional use. It has an analog-only, 3-pin, balanced, low-impedance XLR analog output. It's gold-plated. It requires 48 volt phantom power to run the internal preamplifiers of the microphone, which is normally provided by your preamplifier or the input of your mixing console or your professional video camera. If you want to use this digitally, it's as simple as getting a balanced XLR phantom powered microphone to USB adapter, or you use a digital preamplifier that has a USB output. Those are numerous. It's called the USB interface. There's lots of those. Or honestly, if you really want to do that, Sanal makes a microphone for even less money called a UB440, which sells for about $100. It's pretty much the same microphone with a direct USB output. And how does it sound? 
Well, you've been listening to it for this entire video. How did I do that? Easy. I got two of these for stereo. So the first one I opened up before I opened up this one, and I set it up to record this video the whole time. It's about a foot away from my voice. It's set to the cardioid pattern with no roll-off. If I get closer, you'll hear much more of a bass boost. As I get closer now, and now I'm only about five inches away compared to a foot. I'm talking to it through the six-inch nylon mesh pop filter from Ore, so I'm not popping the heck out of this poor little microphone, but you'll hear it's a much bigger, bassier sound when you get close. And this might be where you'd want to record male voice. Let's read something really exciting. I've got an idea. Let's read another warranty booklet. That sounds like a hoot. Okay, two-year limited warranty. This Sennel product is warranted to the original purchaser to be free from defects in materials and workmanship under normal consumer use for a period of two years from the original purchase date or 30 days after replacement, whichever occurs later. The warranty provider's responsibility with respect to this limited warranty shall be limited solely to repair or replacement at the provider's discretion of any product that fails during normal use of this product in its intended manner and in its intended environment. Inoperability of the product or parts shall be determined by the warranty provider. If the product has been discontinued, the warranty provider reserves the right to replace it with a model of equivalent quality and function. However, I decided to stay about a foot away, so as I move around unboxing this video, I don't have the audio levels run all over the place. Again, mic placement is extremely important, and that's some of the delicate art of record engineering. For the life of the microphone, long life, you really don't want to talk into it real close like this because overall people singing to this, spitting into it, uh, it's going to get the microphone dirty inside, so you don't want to do this a lot. But to be honest, I'm impressed. And I can go pop, 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 ba 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 And <laughs> this microphone seems very resistant to plosives. If I put the pop screen in, you'll see the sound doesn't change at all. This is the RA nylon pop screen. The beauty of this microphone is it works great even without the pop screen. And if I bang on my desk, let's see how well the... <laughs> bang it on my desk. Let's see how well it handles that. What kind of quality is this made with? Well, it's all metal. This weighs about a pound, the same as a U87. It's about the same size, give or take, as yes, all these microphones today want to be a U87. I know, I've wanted to buy one since the 70s. This is all metal. It's sputter-coated here. It actually is pretty nice. So this switch isn't quite centered. You're not paying $3,600, but hey, you get what you get. And to be honest, I think this is a great mic for $200. That's why I got two of them. It is all metal. There's no question about that. It's not plastic. That's for sure. It weighs, as I say, it seems like it weighs a ton. The shock mount is also, seems just like an 87 shock mount for the most part, except it's not nickel, which I'd like. The only plastic parts are hot. This is plastic. This inserts metal. This is metal. And the rest of everything else is all metal. This frame is metal. Even this threaded mounting device is metal. The cage is all metal. The rubber bands are rubber with... Well, you know, honestly, I don't know what's inside. I didn't open one up, I'll be honest. But they are cloth-coated. So this is this is really a nice basket here. This is nice. The case is nice. For $200, I cannot complain. I don't think $200 even buys me a shock bound from Neumann. And that's a quick look at the Sennel SCM660 multi-pattern large diaphragm condenser microphone. Thanks for watching Ken Rockwell and KenRockwell.com.